our world has changed, has it not? I'm using that line a lot. I'm making things called televisits with patients, and one of the things I open with is that statement. It gives me a segue to talk about how people's health care has changed and how the future is, may look different from them uh, health-wise than what they had planned before. Change is hard, and the amount of change in the current time is just unprecedented. Times of change, though, really contrast with things in our life that do not change. I'm sitting outside for a purpose. I'm sitting on a big rock that I got out of a field years ago and, and hauled to this place. A rock has a lot of attributes. One attribute is it's hard, it's strong, it's heavy. But another attribute is a rock doesn't change. If we abandoned this place and nobody came here, a thousand years from now, it would look quite different. The buildings would be gone, the house would be either gone or fallen apart, the yard would be taken over. But if this rock was here, it would essentially look the same as it does today. They say the faces on Mount Rushmore weather at the rate of about a tenth of an inch every thousand years. Rocks don't change. The psalmist calls God a rock many times in the book of Psalms. My God is a rock, the rock of my salvation. Blessed be the God, the, my rock, who trains my hands for battle. Lots of references to a rock. So I think about God as a rock. God is the thing in our life that does not change. And the communion is a perfect time to think about our unchangeable God, the God that allowed for our forgiveness, that offers us forgiveness all the time through times of happiness, through times of plenty, through times of want, through times of crisis. Salvation is there for us. Our God is there for us. He is the constant in our changing, crazy world. Let's think about that consistency and the forgiveness and the forgiveness that is always present no matter what as we partake of communion this morning. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for all of your many blessings and we thank you at this time for sending your son to die upon the cross to give us a constant, the constant of salvation, the constant love that you show to us and through your son, Father. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. We'll now say a prayer for the fruit of the vine. Father, we now come and we thank you for your son who shed his blood on the cross to save us from our sins, Father. We pray that we will reach out and we will realize that in times of change and crisis, that that forgiveness is always there within reach, and we thank you for that. In Christ's name we pray. I just wanted to say a quick word. Uh, we're kind of apart from the building and not doing our traditional worship service, but part of the communion, uh, the person who gives the talk has always been to talk about the offering and how blessed we are. And I just want to remind you that if you're listening to this day today and you're a member of the your Church of Christ, uh, remember that uh, the church continues to have needs and, and uh, responsibilities financially and things like that. So be, be sure to remember to mail in your check. It's kind of hard for me to remember to do that since when I don't have to stop in today. But we thank you, and until we can see you together and all be together, God bless.